focus wholeheartedly in the preparation. If you are in uh, your MBBS profs, I would suggest you to read standard textbooks and go to your clinic simultaneously. Hello, my name is Vaibhav Karg and I have secured All India Rank 1 in NEET PG 2024. I have graduated from a government medical college Chandigarh. This was my first attempt at NEET PG. It gives me immense pleasure to share my journey with all of you. When I was in class 10th, my interest in biology grew given the fact that in my family there was no doctor and I was going to be the first doctor in the family. That motivated me to pursue my dream further. With that same dream, I uh, entered Government Medical College Chandigarh with the All India rank of 69 in NEET UG 2018. And thereafter, there was no looking back as the journey kept on uh, motivating me to do better and better and that also helped me secure six distinctions in my various professional examinations at GMCH Chandigarh. So my journey at GMCH was uh, fun-filled as well as at the same time, I eagerly yearned to learn more and more and uh, delve deeper into the oceans of knowledge of medical sciences. I used to uh, discuss clinical cases with my friends and also we used to uh, seek uh, a ward, uh, we used to uh, go to the wards and see uh, patients there and we used to discuss our doubts whenever we had uh, some grand tests, we used to discuss with each other. Also my seniors were well, so very much helpful, they always uh, motivated me to uh, go for the standard textbooks and clarify all my concepts and th uh, thereafter there has been no looking back like I uh, enjoyed learning uh, the whole uh, course of MBS conceptually and I think that helped me a lot. Uh, so uh, when my internship started in April last year I was uh, I did not have a clear cut schedule on how to go about my revisions so I joined the INI CET TND of DAMS which uh, gave subject wise tests uh, which I could plan accordingly, according to my own comfort, according to my duties during internship. And as I continued my first uh, reading from April till uh, August, I gave all the tests of DAMS TND, completed my syllabus once in four, around four months. Also, I simultaneously started with NEET PG TND because uh, I uh, felt that INICT uh, focus on specific topics, whereas NEET needs to cover broader horizons. So I also joined NEET PG TND. Also, I gave a regular grant test at the dance uh, application, which also helped me a lot. And the questions were very nicely framed, which really helped me to clarify my concepts and also uh, know deeper about the important topics. So I uh, used to follow Sumer sir and Deepthi ma'am's videos on YouTube and also uh, whenever they took any live session, I got motivated by their words to perform better and also uh, their techniques during examination also helped me a lot. Like, they always used to say that you have to rule out the option and do not get ruled out of the race. So I used those uh, techniques in my real examination which really helped me to rule out the options even if I did not know the correct answer to the an uh, question. Also uh, I followed Deepthi Ma'am's uh, grand test copy in uh, wrong notebook uh, strategy which really helped me to consolidate as well as to work upon my weaknesses. Uh, so my tips to my juniors who are going to appear for this examination in future is focus wholeheartedly in the preparation. Also to if you are in uh, your MBBS profs, I would suggest you to also uh, read standard textbooks and go to your clinic simultaneously. Those are also very helpful in the clinical scenarios which are asked uh, in no nowadays in the entrance examinations and also simultaneously start practicing question bank. Don't hesitate from practicing questions because ultimately it is the MCQ exam and your MCQ solving skills are going to matter a lot. So when my internship started in April uh, last year, I uh, joined the TND course of DAMS which really helped me to plan my preparation and my revisions accordingly. So it gave me a time bound schedule uh, which I could follow diligently and not be afraid of how I would be able to complete this vast syllabus. Then subsequently I was able to consolidate it further which also helped me a lot. Uh, my parents supported me a lot throughout this journey from the very beginning of uh, my undergraduation days and even my plus one and plus two they have supported me in every possible way from providing uh, all sort of uh, transportation services and they helped me inculcate this belief in myself that I can do it. I was working hard so they uh, always believed in me which helped me in gaining self-confidence in myself that I, if I can definitely do it.